What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best tweaks of the week. Now this week I have five separate tweaks, four of which are free, and a lot of them are pretty simple tweaks, so it shouldn't take too long to actually get through these. So of course I'm going to try to keep up that same pace that I did on my last video and kind of get through these and not go into incredible detail on all these tweaks, but I do want to give you the best idea just in case you guys want to check these out for yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first tweak that I want to talk to you guys about is called Double Cut. Now what Double Cut does is allow you to easily input your email address without having to type it out every single time that you need to either type it out or maybe fill out your email in a form or if you're signing up for something or something like that. So you can see right here if we go into our settings here and we scroll down to Double Cut you can see if we go ahead and tap on that all you need to do is type in your email address right there and from that point on all you have to do is double tap on the at symbol twice and it's going to input it so let's go ahead and jump over to our notes app and you can see right here if I go ahead and just tap on the at sign twice it's going to input my email so it's really as simple as that that's all that it does very simple but it is extremely useful for those occasions that you do have to input your email address so again that's double cut Next up we have a tweak called Round Doc. Again, this is another free tweak, and you can see what it does right here. It doesn't have that pointed dock anymore. We have that rounded, nice corners. Of course, I think that looks a whole lot better with iOS 8, even iOS 7. I'm always a bigger fan of having those rounder corners, and if you guys watch my videos for a while, you probably already know that. There's even a tweak that actually will round the corners off of the screen itself. They just put a little bit of black right there on each of the corners and rounds it off. And I actually like that one as well, but I don't think it's working for iOS 8, so that's something I'm going to have to double check. And next up is a tweak called Folder Icons. And Folder Icons is going to allow you to change what your folders look like on your springboard. So what's the preview going to look like? Do you want to have previews of these icons, or do you want to have something completely different? Well, you can change that with Folder Icons. So you can see, to access your settings, all you need to do is tap and hold just to get your icons in wiggle mode and then you'll notice a little icon right up there rather than having the X you have a settings button so if we tap on that you can see that there's two options right here for the background as well as the foreground and then right down here we have three toggles so you can show the thumbnails in the background if you want to or you can toggle that off again with the labels you can do that as well as show the badge so if we go right here and we go into background tap on that you can see all the different backgrounds that we have so we can obviously change the color we have this iOS 6 style uh, background, I believe that's iOS 6, and you can just tap on none if you don't want anything. And then if we wanted something in the foreground, then you can go into the foreground, and there's not a whole lot that you can choose from right here. I wish there were a little bit more, but this is pretty cool. So if we just wanted to have the star there, you can see if we go ahead and tap out of that, then that's what our folders look like. But of course, if we tap on it, it's going to open up what we normally would have in our folder right there. So a really cool tweak, I think, just to change up, because I think the uh, original folder looking you can see you can make it even invisible but I just don't think it looks very good with the preview of the icons right there it just makes my phone look a little bit cluttered so that's something that I definitely am always looking to change once I jailbreak my device and here we have dye and what dye does is allow you to change the color or the tint of the UI in your device so you can see right here if we go into our settings and we tap on dye right here you can enable it and then once you do enable it you will have to respring but before you do that you do want to choose a color so right here we're going to choose a color and you can see that we have the alpha right here and then this is where we're going to change our color so you can move your finger around and you can see those sliders going up and down just depending on what color you want it to look like and you can see what it looks like or a preview of it right up here at the top as you can see so let's just go down here let's go to a more purple and then we can change the alpha by sliding that over and let's just change it to a let's just do green and then also if you don't want to slide around you can actually use a hex color right there so you can just type it in right there and then you can set that so we're just going to use this for now and then we're going to go back and then right here we also have advanced so if we tap on advanced you can see that you can make sure that it col the colors everywhere you can darken the keyboard you can go down here you can override and change the blur you can also change the tint if you want to override that and then respring your device in order to make those changes take effect. So we're going to go ahead and respring the device just to see what changes we've made with our green uh, UI tint. So let's see what that looks like and see if that's something that we want to keep. All right, so we've respung and you can see it does it even on the passcode screen right here. And you can see the dock, you can see the little pop-up right there if we pull down the 
uh, notification center. This is very bright, way too bright for me, not something that I would probably keep, but you get the idea of what this tweak does. And there's obviously a whole lot of colors that you can choose from and mess with just to get it the way that you like it and make it fit in with your theme. And last but not least, we have a tweak called custom messages. Now, a lot of you guys, including myself, have been waiting for Messages Customizer to be updated, which I'm not sure that that's actually going to happen for iOS 8. And it's kind of a bummer because that was an awesome tweak. But custom messages can somewhat uh, replace that tweak in some ways. As you can see right here, if we go into our settings and we tap on custom messages, this is going to allow you to change the color of your messages application. So it's going to be able to change the color bubbles as well as the background. So if we tap on here and we tap on bubbles, you can see that you can change it to a gradient. And you can change the top color, the middle color, as well as the bottom color right here. Now one thing that I do not like about this is it just has a RGB slider. So you can see you can change the red, green, and blue, but you can't see what you're changing it to. You don't know what color it is until you respring, or you don't, you don't have to respring, but you have to close out of the messages application. And that's just always a real bummer because you have to use trial and error to get them to the right colors. Also, you can come down here and go to random. You can toggle that on, and it's obviously going to change up the colors uh, randomly, so you don't have to set them. You can also use transparent bubbles, so you can turn on transparent mode. You can change the border color and size right here with the RGB sliders, as well as the size and corner radius. So if we wanted to change that up, we'll just slide that all the way over right here. We'll turn off random mode as well. You also have Christmas mode, so you can see what that does if you want to toggle that on, but we're going to try out these colors first. So let's go ahead and go back. And now let's close out of our messages right over here. You can see what it looks like right there. So we're gonna close out and we're gonna go back here and open up messages. Now, of course the green UI is not due to custom messages. That's due to die, which I changed earlier. But right in here is what you get when you change or make the same changes that I made within custom messages. Now you can see that we have a different corner radius for the bubbles as well. So it's more of a diamond shape than it is a circular shape. As well as over here, we didn't get any type of color changes, and that's due to the settings that I uh, changed right here. So let's go back into the bubbles, and then we're gonna turn off transparent mode. So you can see that now we get this purple uh, gradient look, so we have a darker purple, and then all the way up to a lighter purple right up here at the top. Now one thing I don't like about this is that it has that little bit of outline. I don't know how well you can see it on the uh, on the video, but there's an outline right here on all of the bubbles, like right on the corners of all the bubbles. You can see right here, if we jump to the settings and we go back, you can also have these more settings, so you can change the background color right here, so you can change that up, as well as the details button color. So if we wanted to change that up, and we wanted to change up the background color right here, then we can do so just like that. So now let's go ahead and close out, and open that up, and you can see that now we have a green background right there, which this just, I don't know how everything turned out green in this video, but it did. Looks like some kind of Ninja Turtle theme or something. You'll notice right up here that we have the orange button, which is what I changed right there for the UI color for that button. So that's all I have for this week's best tweaks of the week. Let me know what you guys think about all these tweaks in the comments below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos on everything jailbreak as well as everything Apple, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.